Good morning, everybody, and well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time zone you're in. Good day, good day, and it's Peter Zalem's Greeny Flix Adventure 8, and today we have another video about Leica and the recent Leica firmware update for the M series cameras as well as the Q2. So what's so interesting about that upgrade, there's some, um, some software stuff and there'll be some details in the links below. But there is also an upgrade, particularly for the M-series cameras, with regards to the VisoFlex 2 and its compatibility with the M10 version of cameras, whether it be the monochrome, the P, etc. And again, there'll be some links in the description. So, how does the um, how does that firmware upgrade affect the VisoFlex and the different versions, including the e as a comparison to the EVF of the Q2? The firmware update for the M11 and the M10 series has meant that the new VisoFlex that's available for the M11 is now backwards compatible with the M10 series of cameras. Let's see what sort of results we get with the VisoFlex with the EVF on the M10 series and how that compares to the older existing VisoFlex that's available for the M10 as well. And I'll have the Q2 EVF and also the M240 EVF as a comparison as well. How do all these EVFs now compare and what sort of versatility is there? Well, let's just take the Q2 EVF as maybe the being the best. And I would say it is the best out of all of them. Um, basically what you see on the back of the screen here is what you would also see in the viewfinder. There's one big difference, however. Um, particularly when you've got these bars down the bottom and up the top here on the back of the screen when you look through the viewfinder those bars actually go out of the frame so you see the full frame with the information below and above rather than super rather on the back of the screen here it superimposes the these bar this bar of information on top of the screen so that's probably one fundamental difference between the EVF of the Q2 versus all these other EVFs because basically what you see on the back of the screen um, you know, depending whether you have those bars there or not is what you actually see in the EVF as well and that's true for all of these different versions for the different M series cameras okay so um, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, the new M11 EVF, the uh, VisoFlex 2, uh, is very nice. Uh, it's almost on par to that of the Q2, just by looking at it regardless of specs. The VisoFlex for the M10 version um, is also pretty good. It's um, probably not quite as clear as the new VisoFlex 2, but it does a really good job, all in all. So I was quite surprised that uh, it's actually quite a good EVF. I wasn't expecting that. I did pick this up one up second hand, so I didn't have that before in the previous test that I did when I was comparing the new VisoFlex to the old VisoFlex EVF2, which is the one for the M240 version. And then when you look at the M240, well, you know, it is showing its age, and you do actually notice quite a bit of a difference in the EVF. I mean, it's still usable. It still helps, particularly when you're not using, when you're using a really wide-angle lens, for example, um, or one that's not compatible with a the rangefinder, then uh, it's, uh, it's of great benefit. And you can obviously zoom in, much the same as the other EVFs, and really um, get the focus that you need. So you can actually take the shot, which is great. 
Yeah, so, all right. Now, with the firmware update, what that means is now this new EVF for the M11 is backward compatible with the M10. So, what happens when you put, I think this is a 2 megapixel EVF, this one is a 3.7 megapixel, thereabouts, the details will be in the video. Uh, but when you take this off and you put this on, you only still get the equivalent to the megapixels of 2. Now what that means, how that's affected is that instead of getting the full EVF view that's in there, you actually end up getting a crop within the frame. So you get a smaller image. It's still very clear, just as clear as... Um, but anyway, now I've got a cropped image. It's not too, I mean, it's still clear. There's no problems about that. If you're wearing glasses, the cropped image actually does work quite well because already your glasses makes your eye a bit further away from the viewfinder. And therefore it's easier to see the whole frame because you're looking at the cropped version of the full EVF. Um, when you do have the full EVF, well then you just get a larger image again, so... That is it! That's as straightforward as it is. So, if you have any of the M10 cameras, and you have upgraded to the M11, and you've got an EVF for the M11, and you don't have an, ME, uh, an EVF for your M10 cameras, well then, yes, you can just use that one, the new Visoflex 2, on, uh, on any of the M10 bodies, and you'll get a good result. Or, if you can pick up a second-hand Visoflex, um, then you've got at least one for each camera. So the old Visoflex for the M10, or the previous Visoflex for the M10, I think still produces a good result. And uh, picking up one second hand, well, you can save yourself some money. But if um, I did try this one, the old Visoflex on the M11, and it doesn't work. So that one's backwards compatible with the M10. That one's not com upwards compatible with the M11. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, then give it a thumbs up, and uh, that's great. That helps the channel. We appreciate your support. If it's the first time to my channel, then do subscribe. Press subscribe. Press notifications. I've noticed with the notifications, you when you do press that, there are a couple options as far as how frequently you're notif notified. Choose the one that's most appropriate to you. All right, well, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, cheers, bye.